This is a short video about what a topological space is. So a topological space. And so uh, what is that? You have a set um, X and you have a topology T. And I'll use a fancy T. Fancy T on X. And we say X, we'll write it as like a pair. XT is a topological space. That's really it. Topological space. Great, and so to give you an example, if you saw the previous video, if uh, X was A, B, C, and let's say T, remember a topology is, is a subset of the power set, so take a bunch of subsets of X, but they have to satisfy those three properties, where, just to remind you, one thing is, is that the empty set and the whole set have to be in your collection, in T, in what you're gonna call the topology. Uh, more things that have to be in the topology. Um, well, you don't have to have more, but I'm saying if you do have more, let's say I put A in there, um, I could stop there if I wanted to, but I think in the last video I put something like AC in there as well. And so just to emphasize two other properties that this T has to have, for any two things in the set, their intersection should be there too. So like in particular, when I intersect these two, I just get A and he's there in my set. And the uh, third thing that this has to, this T has to have in order to call it a topology is that the union of any things in your set has to still land in here. And so uh, just to give you an example, if I take the union of these two, you get this one, which of course lands in here. So this thing satisfies the requirements to be a topology. So this thing is a topology, and remember all we're saying is that these are the sets that we're gonna call open. Um, but uh, what are we saying then? So then this would be a topological space when I think about, um, if, I, if I think about this definition I just wrote down. So we could say um, X fancy T is a topological space. So it's just a set that has a topology on it. Now, I want to uh, bring in something that, if you saw some old videos about what a metric was, remember, call um, metric was like a distance function. It's a distance function on your set. It talks about how close two points are to each other. And uh, also recall, so maybe I'll call XD as a metric space. So it's just the set with the distance function, considering those two things at a time. Formally, you'd say this is a metric space. And uh, in a metric space, I'm gonna draw it as a blob, say, let's say here's X. Um, in a metric space, we had like some special sets, where if I take, say, little X here, um, it makes sense to talk about what is the set, of, say, all points of some fixed distance away from X. In other words, um, I've got like what we'll call an epsilon ball here. So remember this notation here for what this green set was, and maybe I should all, I should kind of fill in the inside here. That thing is B, D, X, Epsilon was an Epsilon ball. And so uh, the point though is that uh, these things are what we'll call open. And these things helped me define what was called open in a metric space. And so these things helped define open in a metric space. And so to remind you of what was going on there, let's keep my metric space there. If I have something, I'll call it like this, and it's all wavy and stuff, let's say U here. What does it mean for U to be open? So let's say U is open um, in X, where I'm thinking about this in metric space terminology here. So U is open in X if, remember for um, any, I'll say Y in U, um, there exists um, an epsilon ball, so uh, B, D, Y, Epsilon, such that that ball is completely contained inside of U. So B, D, Y, Epsilon, contained in U. So all I'm trying to say is for any dot Y that lives inside of your set U, it should be possible to put an Epsilon ball around Y that can, is completely contained within your set U. If you can do that for every single point in U, then that's what it means for you to be open. Now what I'm trying to say to you is, is that uh, this determines a topology. So in other words, these sets satisfy the three properties that uh, a topology needs to have. In other words, um, the empty set and uh, the, the whole set 
would satisfy this. They would be called open under this terminology here. The empty set would be true kind of trivially or maybe vacuously is the right word. And then the whole set, you know, if this is the whole set X there also, well then sure, it definitely contains an epsilon ball around any of its points. Um, on the other hand too, if um, you took the intersection of say two sets that we'll call open and metric space land here, um, in that case then, you could just take the ball of smaller radius for like the points that they share, and that should still land inside there. So to kind of give you a picture, um, you know, if, if this is U, let's say this one's V, and let's say I took a point, little u, that's inside both of them. Well then, uh, in that case, um, because, because the, this one's open, I know that there exists a ball that's completely contained in U, um, on the other hand, because this one's open, I know there's another ball that's completely contained inside of Vise, and so I should just take the ball of smaller radius, and that'll be contained in the intersection of both of those. And so lastly, also, what if you had like the union of a bunch of these things? So like, uh, what if I, uh, so why should say U union V be open and of course when we do unions it shouldn't matter how many unions you take so remember intersections maybe two at a time generally finitely many at a time intersections though can be arbitrary i'm just trying to illustrate it with two so why is this open also u intersect v is open um, u union v should be open uh, so how come that happens if you took a point here right well in that case sure i can put a ball around it because v is open but then that ball also lives in the union of these two. And so unions are kind of easier to think about. So what is my point here is that if you have a metric, then you also, that metric induces a topology. And so a metric D induces a topology. So what do I mean by that? It gives you a way to name things as open. to call things open is maybe a less weird way to say that. But uh, what the big picture I'm trying to get at here is that what is a topology then? A topology is a lot more general than that. A topology, you don't have a distance function at your disposal, say. So to kind of give you a picture in the grand scheme of things of what's going on, um, thinking about the collection of all metric spaces, those are all just types of topological spaces. So how you should look at this picture any metric space is a topological space, right? If you're in this circle, then you're also in the big circle. On the other hand, this picture suggests that there are certainly topological spaces where there's no such thing as a metric. And so uh, my example, my example uh, that I was playing with earlier, where if X is ABC, maybe I could just zoom up. Yeah, cool. There's X is ABC, and I'm saying that this should be the topology. That's a topological space, and I'm not telling you anything about some kind of a distance between two points that are in this set. So in other words, this set X here is something that's a topological space, but not a metric space. And so I hope that this picture also says to you again, topological spaces in some sense are generalizations of what a metric space is. So we're still going to kind of talk about closeness. That's what open is still at the end of the day kind of going to describe, but it's a way to talk about nearness or closeness without talking about distance.